He was the first responder. He was the, the, he the was word of the Lord said that Christ spoke to the disciples. Yeah. But it was Peter. Spoke up first. Who spoke first? Do you think he was the only one in the crowd that knew the true revelation of who Jesus was? Yeah. Not necessarily. No. That was probably that was well, well, that was probably a few more. But yeah. what was the deal with Peter? He was the first one to step up and say, "I say you the Christ." Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. right. Man. He was the first one to respond to the Lord's question. Yeah. Right. Right. I want to talk to us a little while tonight about being the first responder. Amen. First responder. Lord, we love you tonight. We're so thankful for what you did be in the presence of the Lord to be in the power of your spirit tonight. Lord, we pray that you will just speak to our hearts, our minds. Lord, we lose you in this service tonight. I wish you'd just take over, Lord, and just, just preach yourself. I, I, don't, I don't even want to have to do anything tonight, Lord. I'd rather you do it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, just take over the services. Speak your heart. Speak your mind, Lord. Let us be the gleaners of it. Let us be the recipients of it. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for standing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Peter says, there ain't nobody else going to say that. I'm going to jump on it. That's right. How many right. times have you ever been in the church service? How many times have you ever been in the presence of God and you feel this little auction come about you? Uh -huh. Or you feel something that says you ought to say something. Uh -huh. Or it says, hey, you ought to jump up and worship. Yeah. Or it says, hey, you, you know, I think you need to just go ahead and do this. Yeah, log into it. Yeah. But how many at the same time across this church, there'll be more than one that has that feeling. Yeah. There were two or three that they'll say, mm, is that you, Lord? <laughs> it ain't the devil telling you to pray, honey. Yeah. It ain't yeah. the devil telling you to pray. Man, I'm going to start doing this more often. I'm going to speak up. Uh -huh. 
What if I had said, no, I ain't going to? There would have been so many who would have lost their lives. And what does that have to do with us, Brother Dan? Think about it. Amen. Your action in a church service could be the key <coughs> to somebody getting a healing tonight. That's right. Amen. Your action could be the key right. to somebody getting delivered tonight. <coughs> It can be, it can be your, your, your action or reaction to the unction of God. That's right. It make a difference in whether or not somebody walks out of here the same way they came in. That's Hurt, right. Hurt, undone. That's right. Huh? Come on. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Well, why does it got to be me? Hallelujah. You were chosen. Hallelujah. That's right. You were chosen. Many are called. You chose. Be thankful. You're among the chosen. You're among those faithful few. Amen, brother. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, what does God want us to do? He wants us to be a first responder. That's right. He wants us to jump up. He wants us to move. Amen. Remember we talked about the kingdom this morning? You remember Jesus was so impressed by the man, by the, uh, the centurion? He said, all you have to do is just speak a word and my servant will be healed. That's right. Jesus said, why? No such faith in all of Israel have I seen. That's right. That's right. He said, no, I'll go with you to, you to your house. He said, you don't have to do that. Right. I am a man under authority. Amen. That's right. And I know when I say go, men go. When I say come, men come. Yeah. I know what authority is. That's right. Yeah. Right. That's right. Hello. Come on. Yeah. The Lord speaks. We're supposed to start moving. Well, that's it. Amen. Amen. If we don't move, he don't move. That's right. 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 Until God moves, things can't be fixed. God can't. That's right. Things can't be created. Uh -huh. The Bible says that the Spirit of God moved upon the waters of the earth. That's right. Then, the next verse said, then he spoke. Let there be light. Until God moves, he will not speak. And until he speaks, nothing's going to Nothing's going to change. Right. But when we let him move, how do we let him move? By being first responders. Yeah. Amen. God is a spirit. By being obedient. God is a spirit. Yes, sir. He can't operate in this economy. This is the economy of flesh. Right. For him to operate in this economy, you know what he needs? A vessel. Gotta have us. Well, I'll let somebody else be the vessel tonight. What if they don't? Somebody just missed out on the Somebody just missed out on deliverance from alcohol, drugs, uh, pornography, whatever. Right. Come on. Hello. Come on. Oh no, this is a church. We people don't need that. We're all sinned flesh, huh? Amen. That's right. We've all sinned and fell short of the glory of God. We all have need for repentance from time to time. Oh, not me. I don't do any of that. Did you forgive your neighbor last week when he spoke mean to you? That's just as much a sin as it is to go out and sleep for half the time. That's it. Hello? Amen. It's just as much a sin. It's unpardonable. That's right. He does not have to forgive us if we don't forgive those who trespass against us. That's right. It's just as much a sin. Yeah. But, 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 you know, that, that's different. No, it's not. We need each other. And we need first responders. Those folks that were in the tower, they couldn't help themselves. No, they, they, they relied on those first responders to help.
help them out of a deadly situation. <laughs> really close to what we're talking about here. That's right. Sometimes what we're dealing with here is a, a deadly situation. That's right. Ah, not really. Do you know the rates of suicide in America? That's way up there. And it's even in the churches, folks. That's right. You think that's not a deadly situation? Really? <coughs> and what can what can change that mindset or change that from making it worse not happen, Lord? That's right. Right. And that can be from somebody aware of the Lord one time. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Uh-huh. One time. Uh-huh. In a church service. That's right. And, and do doing what with that? I don't know. Whatever God tells you to do. Yeah. It, it might be that, that he tells you to, to go speak to somebody or to go pray with somebody. Yeah. Well, we, we can't ever tell what it's going to be. But if we will respond quickly, don't think about it. Right don't think about it. If we respond quickly, then the Lord can do marvelous things in life. Right. But He needs this old vessel. That's right. He needs this old vessel. He needs your vessel. That's right. Oh, it's just a few chosen ones that God talked to in the church. That's a lie from the people. That's right. That's right. So bad. I've seen the Lord use people that I thought, wow. <laughs> Hello. That's right. Because yeah. I knew them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I see him use me in time, but I wasn't even in church. And I was thinking, what in the world? Yeah. Oh, that's because he had you lined up to be a preacher. No, that ain't no. It's because I was willing to do what I felt strong to him telling me to do. That's right. And because of it, he moved into somebody else's life. That's right. That's right. First responders are so important to us as a whole, as a body of Christ. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Sister Tor, you know, if you cut your hand, what happens? Platelets, automatically, your brain sends a, sends a wave through that and says, oh, we're leaking blood. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the platelets in your body, in your blood, runs to that cut. Yeah. First responders. Because of them, it'll plug that hole. It'll make that blood clot. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you'll quit losing that blood. Sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. What if those platelets decided, well, let somebody else do it today? Uh-huh. You believe that. You believe that. Mm-hmm. Was it your fault? No, it was your platelets' fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because they didn't work as they were intended. Amen. Yeah. Right. Oh. Amen. Come on. But it's just about me. No, it's not always just about me. We're a body of Christ. Amen. Amen. The body Amen. works together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a well old machine. That's right. That's right. That's right, bro. We've got to be willing to yeah. move yeah. when God says to move. Amen. Amen. Speak when God says to move. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Right, we've got to be a first responder because we never know what crisis we are looking in the face. That's right. We never know what storm that person that looks so happy and so carefree. Uh, You never know what storm that poor person is in. That's right. You never know what kind of trial they're going through. That's right. But they look fine to me. And I don't know if that's God or not. You know if that's God. God's not going to tell you to do something against the word of God. That's right. And he's not going to tell you to do something that's mean or hurtful. That's right. He's not going to. If it's sad, it's going to be the devil. That's right. Or it'll be that other devil. Called flesh. Sometimes what we're dealing with, we can blame it on the devil. Don't give him no more credit than that. Yeah. No. 
That's right. Because right. sometimes it ain't him. It's just our own flesh. That's right. That's right. It's our flesh that says, no, I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want to be singled out. I don't want everybody looking at me. That's right. I don't want somebody to think that I'm holier than thou. Because I think I can get up and speak anything to the crowd. Come on now. Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. We've got to be first responders, ready to, to assess the situation. That means knowing that God said it. And move. Here I am. You're not always going to be like those firefighters would, having alarm bells go off and signals it's time to move. Right. Amen. You remember our controller, our our uh, our dispatcher? He speaks with a steel small voice. Yes, sir. That's he, right. does. That's right. he doesn't always sound off like a siren. He just says, "Come, That's right. pray, go away." Amen. 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 But when we do, oh, the lives that can be saved. The lives that can be saved. Some of you sit there and think, well, now, well damn, what if I'm on that fire and lost their life? Remember what was great, what was we had this woman? Uh -huh. Blessed are they that are persecuted for my name's sake. For they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Amen. 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 Get your dance on. Uh huh. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Get your dance on. That's right. Get That's your right. determination on. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna yes. speak first. Yeah. I'm not gonna wait to see what everybody else thinks. Come on. Peter yeah. didn't say, "Well." Let's see what God thinks first. We'll let old Matthew, we'll let him speak a minute. Well, Thomas might have something to say. I better wait on him. Yeah. Maybe even Judas, he, he might go ahead and step up. He stepped out instead of stepping up. Peter said, uh, uh, I'm going to be first. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I think you, I think you're the son of the living God. I think you're Messiah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see how that works. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, I'm going to rename you. Yeah. Now I'm going to call you Peter. Go on this rock, I'll build my church. He said, What the heck? Yeah. Uh -huh. See what happened when you first? Yeah. Uh huh. First one to listen to God? Yeah. First one to respond? To the movement of the Holy Ghost? Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, how do you figure that? Well, you heard Jesus say, flesh and blood didn't tell you this. That's right. You didn't reveal that to you. This was revealed to me by my Father, which art in heaven. Amen. He ain't down here, sitting right here so you can look at him. Uh -huh. My Father's up in heaven. Right. He's Amen. away and off. Yes. The only Amen. way you knew that was by his Spirit. Amen. 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 Who do you think the one that's in your ear? Yeah. It says, go talk to this brother or sister. <coughs> go pray with them. Or he might just say, you know what? I'm going to move in this service. And, and people are just not really too active. Uh -huh. I want you to get up and start to walk around this church. Yeah. As you walk around this church, I'm going to be this church teacher. And that what you felt was blue. That's right. That's right. Hello? Amen. Yeah. Like I turned on floor, I walked around these pews for years. I was back when we were, we were doing super church. And, yeah. And we were taking care of a lot of the youth. Walked around these pews. I got right back there in front of the public cover. I'll never forget it. I got right there and God said, pray out loud. That, who's that? Who's that? Nope. 
That's embarrassing. I don't do that. I pray quiet. Maybe on you know that. I got back here. Right in the same spot, Brother Cody. <laughs> he wasn't sitting there. It wasn't him telling me that when I walked by. <laughs> <laughs> I got right back here at the same spot. God said, pray out loud. I said, Lord, I don't want to pray out loud. Everybody will look at me. God gets insistent because the next time I went around, I still wasn't praying out loud. He said, I said, like, pray out loud. I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lord. Right. And I started praying. And, then I <coughs> and I prayed out loud. And by the time I got back to that spot, this whole church was praying. I said, Brother Wilson was up here walking and praying. He got to looking like, what in the world? And, uh, and he had, kept getting louder and louder and more intense. And people were speaking in tongues. And people were up praising God and praying. And I just kept walking and praying. And these young folks that we were helping, we were uh, teaching at the time. I began to see them walking back and forth. And Lord, they just went, no more. They just said, praise God. I love you, Lord. Come in this house tonight. Bless us tonight, Lord. Woo! Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. We had church in the house during prayer meeting. Yes, Amen. sir. Amen. You know what happened then? When the lights came on, everybody sat down and got quiet and got still. No, that ain't the way it went. No. Because it was, mm, my God, it was powerful. We were still shouting. We were still praising. We got up here and we got to worshiping God. Woo! Come on. This was this was actually, I think this was pre-brother Scooter. I think it was before he got here. We had people shout. We had people dance. We had one or two ran around the church. We had a good time, Lord. You remember, Sister Angel? It was one of them nights. It was one of them nights. We just had a good time, Sister Angel. You was here. I don't know if you remember this. I'm pretty sure you was here, man. But praise God. We had a wonderful time in the Lord. Was it because of me? No, it wasn't because of me. It was because of God. Yeah. He pushed me outside my comfort zone. Amen. I didn't like it. Yeah. At first, <laughs> I got to like it pretty good after I felt what I felt, uh, and I seen the move of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's just because it was you, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. I seen the young folks in here one night. I seen the young folks that were walking around here praying. And I seen J.J. Hughes walk up and bump one of them boys and said, let's pray out loud. I said, oh, Lord. And they started praying. And they walked and they prayed. And before long, they were shouting. They were speaking in tongues. They had, the, they had the older folks in here. They were shouting and speaking in tongues. <laughs> we was having a wonderful time in the Holy Ghost. Got up here. Hmm. And I do remember this. Brother Scooter was here that night. <laughs> we were standing about, he was standing here, you know, Brother Scooter, he's, whoo! Yeah, yeah. Brother Dustin Hughes was standing about right there. And all of a sudden, he just said, whoo! And boy, he sprung around, went through them poles about twice, and fell flat in his face, right out here on the floor. And Brother Scooter like a die. <laughs> he said, whoo! Yeah! And he looked at me like, what do we do? Is he dead? <laughs> I said, he's all right, leave him alone. <laughs> God cushioned him, don't worry about it. <laughs> but what? It took, because Brother J.J. Hughes felt the nudge from the Lord saying, pray. He said, get them boys to pray. And he obeyed. He moved on. He said, I'll be a first responder. 
Come on. Every service. Because we were riding home. Every service. That's right. Every service. That's right. Because we were riding home. We were listening to a fruity fruit. <coughs> and he read that about Peter. And I don't remember exactly what all the rest of the message was about. Because when he read that, Brother Steve, we went just a little bit down and further down the road, and I was thinking about Peter, and God said, first responder. I said, hello. Yeah. Uh -huh. I ain't got a Bible at the church, Lord. I ain't got one. Yeah. But he gave me a word, sister. Amen. 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 We never know. Yeah. Who is going to affect the night? That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But the main thing, we're being obedient. Amen. We're doing what God is wanting us to do. Just yes. do what we're saying. I am in the kingdom. That's right. You remember here. That's right. Amen. Yes, I am. You remind me of a story that, uh, that happened back when I was a firefighter. We was uh, fighting this fire, and it was like a routine fire, we thought. Yeah. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. We was just there, going to put the planes out and go on about our business. But all of a sudden, there would come a truck down this old gravel road. Back then, it was gravel. Yeah. And sun dust was flying. You couldn't even see the vehicle for all the dust. Yeah. They'd come in there sideways, and he said, my baby is in that house. Yeah, and every one of us put on our turnout gears. We put on our hazmatic suits. We went in that fire, and that went because there was a baby in that house. Amen. Amen. Whenever there's a some, whenever so that reminded me of that right there tonight, because whenever there's something, if that was your baby, if that was if that was your kinfolk or is that your loved one, how would you respond? Yes, That's right. Amen. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Woo. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Uh. Wouldn't it be terrible if you've been praying for a loved one to be saved for years? And they're sitting right there next to you. Yeah. And God says, <coughs> talk, pray, touch, dance. Yeah. You say. Amen. And they walk out and never come back in again. Amen. That's right. And when that touch, that healing, that salvation may have been and how you responded. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Well, man. That's a lot to put on it. No, it's not. No, it's just saying. That's right. That's right. That's right. God would do that to me. Yes, they Remember Jonah? Respond. Respond. Yeah. Jonah was the first responder, Sister Hazel. He, was, he tried to run. <laughs> he tried to run. He can't help on the ship going away. I don't know if that's you or not. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let's be first responders, not just for now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo! Yes, sir. Don't you love the Lord? Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you tonight. Thank you. I'm thankful, Lord, for your option. I'm thankful, Lord, that you will speak to me, that you will guide me and direct me, Lord, with your word. Not only with your written word, but your verbal word, with your option. Lord, I pray tonight that we'll keep this word in our hearts, that we'll understand, Lord God, the importance of being the first responder. Lord, I pray tonight. This week, Lord, let someone be in our path, Lord, that you can, that you can use us to be a help to, that you can use us, Lord, to, to bring you healing, deliverance, whatever it may be. But, Lord, just, just let us be usable for you, Lord. 
In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray a covering over this church and over this whole family together tonight, Lord. Those that are here and those that are not. I cover them, Lord, tonight with a prayer, with the shield of faith, and with the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. I love you. I'll see y'all really tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen.